Recording in progress. Good morning, honorable members and colleagues. It's 10 o'clock. Good morning. We are about to start with the meeting. My name is Lupekam Tileni. I'm the committee secretary. I will be the chairperson of this meeting for the next five minutes or so. The reason being that uh, I will conduct the process of electing you know, the acting chairperson. Our chairperson, Honorable Muiman, is on sick leave. So given that he's on sick leave, the rules of the National Council of Provinces empowers the committee to elect the acting chairperson, the chairpersons from among themselves. So what is going to happen now, we are going to elect the acting chairperson according to rule, NCOP rule 92, subsection one, which reads as follows. If the chairperson of the committee or subcommittee is absent or unable to perform the function of a chairperson, the committee, the committee or the subcommittee may elect another of its members as acting chairperson unless these rules provide otherwise in specific case. So, this rules doesn't provide. Otherwise, we are going to elect the acting chairperson. And based on the numbers, the quorum, I have checked how many members who have logged in. If I can go through my list, I've seen Honorable Dango representing Kauteng, Honorable Mama Rekhane representing Limpopo, Honorable Mushot representing Free State, and Honorable Hai re representing Eastern Cape, and the Honorable Bartlett representing Northern Cape. If there's any member that I've missed, before we proceed, I would like to check. But it seems as members who are here. Honorable Lund. Excuse me? Honorable Lund. Oh, Honorable Lund. Sorry, 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 sorry. Honorable Lord. So in terms of the numbers, there are three, there are six, six provinces represented, which then uh, give us, you know, the powers according to a uh, NCOP rule number 96, subsection two, which says a question is decided by supporting vote of at least five provinces. If if it's a consular amendment, at least six. So this is not a consular amendment. So five provinces. Then now, the procedure that we are going to follow, I'm going to call for the nomination. And after Thank calling you. for the... Chairperson, I have raised my hand. Honorable Dango? I have raised my hand. Yes, I've noted you, Honorable Dango. Thank you. I nominate Honorable Hai as chairperson. Honorable Hai has been nominated. Is there any further nomination? Uh, Honorable Chairperson, Honorable Mushodi, I seconded the nomination on, uh, of Honorable Hai to be the acting of the committee today. Thank you, Honorable Mushodi, but I, I wanted to check if there is any further nomination. Nanche. Well, uh, it seems if there's no further nomination, therefore, Honorable Kha is duly elected as the acting chairperson of this meeting. I thank you. Honorable Kha, you can take the... No, thank you very much, uh, committee secretary. Uh, good morning, uh, honorable members, uh, uh, honorable uh, deputy minister, uh, uh, DG, uh, of the uh, Department of uh, Public Service and Administration and other uh, senior managers uh, of the department uh, and uh, the staff of uh, the committee, uh, the media, and also staff of uh, parliament uh, uh, in general. Um, can we then get uh, the apologies, uh, uh, committee secretary? Thank, thank you, Chairperson. We have received two written apologies, actually three written apologies. 
The first one, well, is the one for the chairperson who's on sick leave. The second one is for Honorable Boshoff, who's attending, you know, he's got an appointment with the, uh, the, with the doctor. And the third one is for the minister, Honorable Jojo. She's attending the cabinet meeting. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, today, then, we are uh, getting honorable members a briefing uh, on the government employee uh, housing scheme. Uh, at this stage, I will hand over to the Deputy Minister uh, to give us an overview. Uh, thank you very much. Over to you, uh, Deputy Minister, uh, Dr. Pilan Machaki. Thank you very much, Chairperson, Honorable Hai. Uh, good morning to members of the Select Committee, uh, members of the media and members of the public. Um, indeed, today, uh, the Department of Public Service and Administration will be presenting to you the Government Employee Housing Scheme. The yeah, housing... Uh, Honorable DM. Can, can we ask if you can uh, put on your video uh, on the platform here, yeah, there's a parliamentary uh, YouTube uh, person uh, who's recording uh, in, for the public to, 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 to view the, the, the proceedings of the committee uh, on YouTube. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether also in other uh, media channels, uh, whether this is, but I see there's someone uh, on, from YouTube. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Person. I've actually tried to put the video on earlier uh -huh. and really found it not to be very uh, visible. And this is why, therefore, I was actually just deciding uh, not to put it on, but just to um, uh, speak with it uh, switched off. Um, also, in terms of the fact that sometimes when where I am, the reception is very poor. And sometimes it actually works out easier if you have your video off. Okay. I don't know whether I should actually keep the video on uh, on an ongoing basis, or maybe because already I've managed to make uh, make my salutations to switch it off so that I can improve on the reception in the area M and now a uh, chairperson. Okay, no, it's uh, it's okay, uh, uh, DM. Uh, we can switch it off for the for the benefit of members. Because you, yes. you you come okay. into the committee for the first time. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. We, we okay. appreciate um, that. You. So if, if you right. feel that uh, you have a challenge and you can switch it off, yeah. Then I can just switch it off. Continue, yes. Okay. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, like I said, today we will actually present on the uh, government employee housing scheme. Uh, which is actually um, a scheme that has got to do with housing allowance uh, dispensation, which is regulated in terms of a determination and directive on housing allowance for employees in public service issued by the Minister for Public Service and Administration and in terms of the Public Service Bargaining Chamber Council, resolution number seven of two, uh, 2015, and subsequently, uh, um, the resolution dealing with housing benefits matters. Um, in 2016, the DPSA and Public Investment uh, Corporation, on behalf of uh, Government Employee Pension Fund, um, signed a partnership um, agreement to support the objective. And this objective actually led to a number of events that um, took place subsequent uh, to this agreement, uh, wherein a vehicle to actually roll out uh, the government employee housing scheme was actually uh, put together in the form of South African uh, SA home loan. Um, there has been a, a service level agreement that has been signed between the Department of Public Service and Administration and SA Home Loan. Um, there has been an agreement that has actually been signed between PIC and the uh, SA Home Loan, which actually is a, it's a, an agreement that pulls together the kind of processes and activities that um, PIC 
uh, in collaboration with South African Home Loan would offer in a form of packages for public servants towards access to housing um, while working for government. Uh, Chairperson, this is just um, in a nutshell, the introduction of this scheme. The scheme that actually allows just in general, public servants to be in the position to manage to access with ease housing, which is one of the basic socioeconomic rights that we have enshrined within our constitution. And as government, we are actually continuing to uh, realize the need for us to actively participate in helping our own public servants to manage to access this right. I'm going to ask the DG of the uh, department, uh, May uh, Yolisa uh, Makazi, uh, to make a presentation on the government employee housing scheme of South Africa and to actually also just indicate the milestones and progress, indicating the time frames and where we are now in terms of moving forward with the government employee housing scheme. I thank you, Chairperson. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable TM. Uh, DG, over to you. 